<laughs> but I was like, okay, let's just sit in this room with my eyes closed. Let's just sit in this room with the blindfold on or whatever and just listen and then try to imagine what is her life like in post-World War II America if she goes to this fair, but she can't see anything. So what is she going to hear? What is she going to smell? You know, and so I really had to focus on all of her other senses, even touch. She senses that the guy that sits next to her is heavier because the way the bench moves and kind of slides her toward him. And so it was interesting to kind of take away sight and really bring all these other senses to the fore, where a lot of times those are the things that get the short shrift in a story and we just get the visual descriptors of things. So it was kind of a backwards take on writing, if you will.